wasn't really much of a quest, but yes. ooh, what is that on screen? It's like dust or something. Got a Let's see what else he's got to What's say. Eating yet? Nothing's eating me. I warn you, some philosophies in what? I warn you, some philosophies involved. The meaning of life, eh? I don't know. The what evil that witchers fight stems from chaos, from actions aimed at disturbing order. For where evil spreads, order cannot be established. Instead of the light of wisdom, the glimmer of hope, and the glow of warmth, darkness ensues. And in darkness you find nothing but blood, fangs, and claws. Like in the outskirts. Nicely put, but as young Cero said to King Verdank on their first date, does it have any practical uses? <laughs> the right of witches to live and function in this world has fallen out of balance, because the struggle between good and evil now plays out on a different battlefield with different rules. Evil has ceased being chaotic. No longer a blind elemental power, evil follows rules according to the rights it's been granted. It functions in line with treaties. That's progress. With more of us living longer, we can slaughter one another in the thousands. <laughs> progress is like a herd of pigs. A herd, herd of pigs. brings many benefits, but no one should wonder at all the shit. Shit or no shit, witches exist to slay monsters. How can I when the real monsters hide behind ideals, faith, or the law? The biggest evil is moral relativity, which kills more than the Catriona plague and dragons combined. Witchers will always be needed, no matter where that pig heart leads us. Mm, thanks, Sultan. That was very deep, Geralt. Very, very deep. I didn't expect you to come out of that. I think basically what he's saying is uh, nowadays monsters aren't even. There's not that many monsters. I mean, the main monsters in this game seem to be the people. I mean, they're all rapists and murderers and drug dealers. And the main enemies of the game are people, not monsters. Sorry about that. <laughs> Another interruption. That's two this set already. Um, hopefully, there won't be any more. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so. The main monsters in this game seem to be people. Even the main enemies of the San Mantra are not actually monsters like you could think. It's all very deep. Shit in my boots. What are you talking about? Um. Yeah, so we've done that quest now. I don't think there's any more I need to be doing. I want to check, actually, to see if I can go into the cemetery quickly, and then I'll probably end off the set. Because I think the cemetery is only closed at night because there's ghosts at night time, if that makes sense. Ooh, I'm trying to play with one hand then. Oh, come on, we should be allowed in the cemetery now. Oh, why? You've locked it, but the ghosts only come up at night, you stupid grave dealer. <coughs> I know actually, we'll go to the uh, hospital very quickly. We'll go for a little bit more length on this set. Try and get a little bit more done. Oh, and my frame rate's dropping. No frame rate. Stay with me. There we go. Uh, if I can find the. Ah, here we go. Hospital's right there. Oh, you're sleepy, are you? Let me in then. Ah, oh, he's gonna stop us. I think with this is one where we had to bribe him to get in. No passage. I'm going inside. And that poor boy running up to me again. I'll not have you Looks like a girl months. though. Oh what? Um. Oh yeah, we can make an arrangement. Uh, left click bribe in dialogues to set in the mountains. Characters respond differently to bribes, and some might take offence if you bribe is too modest. What? Oh. Oh, uh, um, let's say 171. Fine, move on. Uh, I don't know if I paid too much. I probably should have left it as what it was. Well, let's have a quick look in the hospital. Probably we could be a bit disgusting with loads of plague. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. You think the NHS is bad? Look at this. This is disgusting. Uh, sick people everywhere. And, oh, Flint. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Stealing from a hospital. That's low, Geralt. 
And Shawnee wants to talk to us apparently in here. Hi, Geralt. Hi, Shawnee. I miss Oxenfurt sometimes. You're more dressed this time. Always there, go dressed back. this time. No, I'm needed here. Few have your immunity. I wanted to talk. Quickly, I need to get back to work. Don't rush me. Um, how can I help you? Help. Your skills are no good here. Oi. Shawnee, I do other things besides kill. Yeah. We don't have a cure for the plague yet, but did you know Rusty? No. Recall. Before the plague took him, he discovered certain plant extracts retarded the disease's progress. You need those plants? Yes, the best one's Celandine. Unfortunately, it's only found on swampy ground. I think I have some Celandine, actually. I'll try to help. Every Quite blossom a lot. counts. Bring at least five sprouts. I think I've got five sprouts. Here Here's you go. the Celandine. Excellent. I'm really That was the easiest fun. quest ever. Yay! I prefer a monster anatomy lesson. I prefer a monster anatomy lesson. I know about fledders. Oh, yeah, fledders. Uh, okay, cool. Oh, so we've got a little entry in. My lungs. Some kind of curse. Okay. Um, yeah, monsters. Fledder. I call it. I called it a fledger last time. Common people believe that fledders are dead heathens who turned into vampires and rose from their graves. Being vampires, they attack sleeping people and drink their blood. No, they don't. Again. They're attacking living people and dogs. Well, not living people, I mean people who are awake. According to peasants, a man bitten by a fledder becomes a fledder himself. This is nonsense, obviously. Okay. Um, lesser vampires which usually hunt in run-down city districts. Yep, yeah, definitely. Found in near cemeteries and in the wilderness. What's good against them? They dive opponents from the air, try to daze the victims and drink their blood. Sensitive to silver and vampire oil. Yeah, I did say about the silver, so you just have to hack at them a bit, and then they die. Uh, anything interesting? Sick people. Laundry basket. No, don't want that. Nothing in here? Oh, there's a trunk. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. I will read that book quickly. Probably nothing I really care about. But again, read it if you want, but I'm not. Do, do, do. There we go. Oh, it's about the elves, apparently. Um, Altar of Melitel. Oh, I can put something on there, apparently. Oh, Have you come to pray to the Great Mother? I'm what do you mean, the Great Mother? I thought you worshipped a fire. Melitele loves even those who go astray. Maybe there's two religions, the uh, sacred fire cult people and this one. Tell me yeah, more about your goddess. Your goddess. Melitele is mother of all living things, the goddess of love, fertility and healing. So like Why an Aphrodite. Represent three figures? Of the the goddess has three faces, symbolizing her different aspects. What are those? A young, carefree girl, a mature, pregnant woman, and a hunched old woman. Oh, so like the three stages of... How can I help? Life, I suppose. Farewell. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I guess that's the. I can't actually tell which one's which. <laughs> Pregnant lady is that one, I think. That one there. And then this one's the young girl, and then that one's the old woman. You can't really tell. So. Alright then. We did another quest, really quickly. Um. So what I'm going to do is I'll end off the video here. I mean, we've got quite a lot done actually. I need to find out about how to get into the cemetery because I want to look in there. That should be quite interesting. But um, yeah, we'll do some more stuff next time. I'll, I'll, I'll sort of think about what I'm going to do. And go away before boy, you're getting on my nerves. I've had enough of you. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll do some different stuff next time. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll probably go and look in the market as well first thing. That's what I'll do, is go and look in the market, because I uh, can probably sell some stuff and maybe sell my books and that. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.